All right, what's up friends, it's Harrison here and welcome back to my channel. So to everybody, I wanna wish you all a happy 2019. I cannot believe that it's almost 2020. Like it's so, it's so crazy to think that. And to think that people that were born in 2000 are 19 years old. That's nuts. But yeah, so I wanted to take this time to reflect on 2018, share all the things that I'm thankful for, all the things that I did, and all my hopes and dreams for 2019. So 2018 was a huge year for me. It was crazy. Like I think back on all the stuff that has happened in a year and I can't believe I packed it all in. So let's recap. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Harrison Brown and I was a professional ice hockey player in the National Women's Hockey League. I'm the first transgender athlete in professional hockey. So in 2018 was my last season playing hockey. I've been playing hockey for the past like 15, 16 years. So it, it had been my life for that long. And I retired in March of 2018 because I won the national championship, the Isabel Cup with the National Women's Hockey League with the Metropolitan Riveters. So I won my second championship. I'm a back-to-back -back champion and I went out on top. So in 2018, I won a championship and I retired from my sport. Um, and the reason why I retired is another highlight of 2018. So I started testosterone. Hi, I have my prescription for testosterone. Ah, getting my first shot on Tuesday. <laughs> And I had to retire because testosterone violates the anti-doping protocol. So I violated rules and I was officially disqualified from women's hockey. So I started testosterone April 24th, 2018, and I've officially begun my journey in finding out who I am. Starting testosterone has been a really big highlight and being able to show my progression, being able to just see myself blend into society and just be seen as a man by everyone has been surreal. It's been surreal and I can't explain how much at peace I am and I'm still not where I want to be yet but I'm getting there and it's really nice to be on track uh, and be on testosterone and have those milestones to look forward to so 2018 allowed me to do that and I'm so thankful for that. Um, and then another huge milestone I got top surgery in July of 2018 as well and I went to Dr. Garamoni in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'd been researching this forever, been watching so many YouTube videos of guys that have went there, seeing all the reveals, seeing all the post-op, pre-op, all that stuff. Um, I've been dreaming of that moment forever. And I'm six months post-op now, and that's so unbelievable to know that I went through that because I had never had surgery up until that point. I'd never had an IV in, nothing. I'd never taken a drug, and so it was... It was pretty crazy to have that all thrown at me at once. I had to check off so many first. But yeah, getting top surgery was one of the best feelings of my life. Um, the recovery process wasn't great, but now that I'm here, I'm able to wear the shirts that I want. I'm able to just feel this freedom is such an unbelievable experience in 2018. I was able to do it. All those things are pretty, pretty big milestones, and I feel like my life is just beginning. I felt very, very lost. I still feel a little bit lost right now, but I felt very lost when I was away from hockey because I'm beginning again. My whole life was hockey. I was an expert at something. Now, I'm back to square one and I'm a beginner at life, I feel. So now I have this reset button and I have this new lease on life, this second chance on living my life as the man that I wanna be and the man that everybody can see. I'm coming out of my shell. And 2018 was a big year for me to gain that confidence, for me to take those first few strides. And 2019, I feel like I'm hitting the ground running now. So I have a few goals for 2019 that I haven't been great with the first week, but honestly, I know that my life is through social media. And the only reason why you're watching this is because you found me somehow through social media, but I want to be less on it for reasons that aren't to do with my personal brand and my personal growth. I wanna stop searching and scrolling on my phone and wasting time. That's definitely one of my goals for 2019 is to be better with my self-discipline on being on my phone. Only watching things that benefit me as a person 
enrich my brain and this is the year of learning and growth in knowledge. Another thing that I really enjoyed and this is gonna be my theme and this is gonna be my last thing because the last thing I wanna do is bombard myself with all these resolutions. I wanna have a couple poignant things that I'm gonna focus on and I think you should do the same. So definitely less time on my phone and I loved what this person wrote when I, I put this on my Instagram story. I wanted to hear what other people's resolutions were for 2019 or what they wanted to do. And somebody just put simply, love myself. And I loved that. It was such a beautiful message, such a simple message. And that's what I wanna do. I found that I was hard on myself a lot and I have the tendency to do that. But I'm gonna just know that I'm putting my best effort forward and I'm gonna love myself for my best effort. And that's what I'm going to try to accomplish in 2019 is self-love. So this is just my quick little thank you 2018 for all the lessons, for all the growth. Hello 2019, I'm ready for you and I'm excited. So just wanted to share that perspective with you all and I hope that you all have the 2019 of your dreams and I hope that you achieve everything that you want to. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.